While working at a hospital, you attend a 40-year-old patient who complains of burning with urination for one week. He also feels urinary urgency but reports difficulty voiding more than a small amount. He has experienced similar symptoms in the past and those were elevated by antibiotics. So what will you call such a condition? Dysuria. So today's topic that we're going to discuss is about dysuria. What are the causes, investigations, and more importantly, how we can treat it. Dysuria is a painful micturation. It feels like a burning sensation when one urinates. It's not about how often one visits toilet. That is called urinary frequency or how uncontrollable is his desire to micturate, which refers to urinary urgency. But let me clear you one thing here, that dysuria is not at all a diagnosis. It's just a presentation of an underlying health problem. Well, in adults, the most common cause is urinary tract infection that we normally call UTI which is a very common diagnosis in both general practice and hospital patients. It is looked for in elderly patients or children who present with confusion or general deterioration. While it is particularly important in all UTIs to ensure that there is pyuria, which is an elevated number of white blood cells in the urine and can cause the urine to appear cloudy or contain pus. That may be accompanied by any bacterial growth from urine known as bacteriuria because imperfectly sterile urine collection is something very common. But bacteriuria is likely to be of clinical significance only when accompanied by pyuria. Now that was a brief introduction about dysuria. Let's head towards the underlying conditions that may present with dysuria as a symptom.